Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. As you can read by the title of this video, Footies is coming. I want to take a look at this upcoming promo that we are leaked to be getting. This Friday, two days from now, is when Footies is going to start according to the leak. So I want to take a look at everything related to this promo and already... This information and this news is starting to impact the market because we have player prices going down as people know what footies is. This is one of the most popular promos released every single year on FIFA and people are starting to sell cards because they know what type of general content is going to be coming. I want to take a look at what footies is. Again, it's been a year since we had it last year at the end of FIFA 21. Take a look at some of the cards that we had last year. If you were around, you might remember some of those insane cards that we had dropped then and take a look at maybe how it could look a little bit different this year. And of course, like I mentioned, how the market is reacting to this news from yesterday. A lot of prices are down because of one specific aspect aspect of the footies promo that is different from like all promos all year long we'll talk about that in this video as well also it's wednesday right and shapeshifters is still going on even though it seems like we're kind of landing the plane of shapeshifters if you will content is kind of slowing down hasn't been as hype in the past couple of days besides like the gareth bale and the trent and a couple other svcs but wednesdays in the past two weeks of shapeshifters had been very very exciting with the 93 plus tots and shapeshifter player pick will we get that today for a third week in a row or will ea change it up we'll have to see but we'll talk about all that potential and more in today's video so if you're excited for footies hit the thumbs up on the video and of course subscribe if you're new let's take a look at the tweet that started all of the madness yesterday this is it right here foot sheriff tweets out footies is coming this friday he says still no confirmation on a shapeshifters team four he did tweet at one point a couple weeks ago about a shapeshifters team four i don't know what the situation is with that but he is saying that footy starts this friday so that for me means that shapeshifters is ending and footies is starting and literally you can tell 8,000 likes in this tweet people are all about footies everybody knows what footies is well maybe not everybody but so many people know what this is because this promo has been going on for so long every single year we get these cards at the end of the game they're footies cards they're cracked some of the biggest upgrades and some of the most high players that haven't maybe got a team of the season or a shapeshifter card or a special promo card in a while EA do really release a ton of great cards inside of footies. Now let's talk about it. What is footies? Just kind of a general overview once again, if you don't remember from last year, this is, like I said, one of the most exciting promos of the year. It's kind of like a wrap up to the entire year of FIFA promos, right? Read this to this um, paragraph that they had last year. They said FIFA 21 had a fantastic season from once to watch to future stars all the way to festival of football that recently ended to celebrate footies has returned. This campaign celebrates best of FIFA 21 as well as brand new content to help upgrade your squads. There's so many aspects of this promo that are legit awesome, right? The, we'll just take a look and read down the list, right? Footies player pick fan votes. This is one of the most popular things about the footies promo. They give us SBCs based off of players that they give us to vote on. We choose a player. We get a loan item, right? That's our choice. You get like a one of three player pick. You choose the card, and then the winner tallied the votes by EA, of course. Uh, the winner will get a player SBC with a huge boosted card in a couple days after that. That's kind of what the footies player pick fan vote is. That's probably one of the most popular aspects of footies itself. Last year, we had a Derby Day team event voting, which was you know kind of an L, if I'm being completely honest. We had footies favorite SBCs. I kind of thought this was really cool. I don't know if you guys remember this from last year as well, but just to kind of look through some of the cards that we had last year during footies, here are some examples of the cards that we had. And of course, I'm going to talk about those uh, footies favorites. So last year, here's a couple of, of items, right? A 95, 96 rated Renato Sanchez that was an SBC, 225,000 coins to get an SBC done for Renato Sanchez. How crazy is that? For that level of an insane card. Now, granted, this was released, you know, in August, like this was this this footies promo goes on for a long time uh, because this is the promo that's probably going to take us on from right now at the beginning uh, of July. It's going to take us 
probably all the way until a month from now or maybe even a little bit further into August, footies is going to go on for a really, really long time. But again, you look through here and you see some of these cards and you remember the vibes, right? Alan St. Maximin, 500k SBC for an absolutely mental card. He didn't have a card since foot freeze and then they dropped the 95 rated left mid St. Max that was so hype and so many people went out and did that card. That was like right at the beginning of footies last year. So uh, the other one that I wanted to show you was those favorites, right? So a lot of the SBCs that we saw there were uh, footies player pick fan votes like a lot of those cards were in the voting people chose their as their player They voted for them and then they got the SBC, but the footies favorites Was also a pretty popular thing that happened last year as well I don't know if this is going to continue this year, but like remember the what if the Yada card, right? This is a very popular card last year in FIFA 21 they basically said, okay, they focused on every single month of the year and they released one promo card that was released in that specific month, but they boosted it way higher in stats and then dropped it during footies. So Diada with the same dynamic image with a huge stat boost, 128,000 coins. That's kind of what footies favorites is, right? It says they released the SBCs based around a specific month and a popular item that was released during that cycle. So it's kind of like... Um, it's like it's like a refresh or an evolvement of uh, the card that has already been in the game once before. So we'll see if they do that this year. But that was one of the most exciting parts about last year as well. And then here's the part that's different about footies. It's the best of re-releases. And this is actually what was causing a lot of the price drops on the market yesterday. Some of you guys might be looking at prices and you're like, Nate, why in the world did Cristiano Ronaldo's Team of the Year card go from 2.1 million coins all the way down to 1.7? I don't know where he's at right now. He, he very well could have risen back up a little bit. He's still 1.8 mil flat, so he's still down a decent amount. Like, why are these cards all down? Well, the reason people are starting to panic sell and the reason you're seeing these prices dropping is because these cards go back into packs over that long month time span the EA is going to release different best of releases where they're going to take a batch of cards from all the previous promos that have happened earlier this year. It's going to range from team of the weeks to man of the matches, team of the group stage. We're going to go all the way back to maybe even some ones to watches being in packs for this first best of release that will probably be this Friday for the first week or two of the footies promo and they're going to just put a whole conglomeration of cards together in packs usually it's around like somewhere a hundred cards in packs at the same time which is part of why it's really fun at this end of the year stage and they're going to re-release those cards into packs so you know you'll have some team of the years you'll have team of the seasons you'll have like i said future stars foot birthday everything is fair game and so that's why a lot of people have started to sell cards because they know that when cards get re-released back into packs, especially this year with the way the pack luck is, a lot of this stuff gets hammered in price very, very soon after that. Because again, more supply gets released on the game. So that's the biggest part about the footies promo that is different from all the other promos that we have all year long. Is we all we always talk about and think about new cards coming into packs like every single week. It's kind of the opposite with footies, right? They put old cards back in packs, but they put a ton of them. Then they release really cool upgrade packs. And then what they do to kind of, you know, usually the cards and packs are the most hype, right? But what they do to kind of, you know, counteract that and balance that out is they drop insane SBC players. Again, do I need to remind you that last year in FIFA 21 is when we had the 99 rated five star, four star, messy center attacking mid PSG card that was released uh, in, in August when Messi transferred to PSG, like this SBC right here will forever go down in, as one of the most famous SBCs ever in FIFA for the first ever, you know, PSG Messi card, but also the five-star skills Messi, that was insane. You know, we had the N'Golo Kante 99 rated footies card that was released last year. He was in August as well. You had this Paulo Dybala that so many people loved last year. He was released a little bit earlier in the, in the, end of uh, July. And then one thing I didn't even talk about yet was the tiered objectives, right? It's going to be mostly SBC and objective content for these footies players. Remember this? Last year we had different versions of Atal, right? Same thing with Adama Traore, where they had these objectives, kind of like the Future Stars Academy objectives from earlier on in the year, where you start off with like this card and you have to play certain games, get some goals, get some assists or whatever it may be with an item, you get a better item, you then take this card out into the game, complete more objectives, and then you finally reach 
the culmination, the end, and there's like, you know, the card that you're trying to get by doing all the objectives and getting all the tiered objectives done. So that's a really, really big part of footies that a lot of people were excited for um, in the, the past couple of years as well. So that's kind of footies in a nutshell, right? We have got the best of cards re-released in packs. We've got a bunch of pink cards, player SBCs and objectives. And that's part of the fun with footies, right? You look at all these cards, they're all pink. The card design last year was pretty good. Um, you know, I think this card design can be a little bit better though this year for an end game card design, especially last year after we had this, like, you know, it came right before this last year in FIFA 21, right? We had the, the PTG cards, which I thought those were beautiful card designs. And then we had the summer stars as well. Very three dimensional, very colorful. I thought those were both better designs than footies. So hopefully this year in FIFA 22, the footies card design is a little bit better. Uh, than it was last year. But that's kind of a roundup of what footies is. Basically, the bottom line is there's no new cards and packs unless EA changed that this year. They wish they could. Uh, but there's best of re-releases and just a ton of content of player SBCs. Now, also last year they did, and this is actually pretty common. I should have talked about this from the beginning. Engagement reward packs. We have not seen engagement reward packs in a long time where it's basically, depending on how many days of FIFA you've played in the last couple of months or whatever it is, then, or maybe even during the whole entire year, because EA tracks that stuff. Oh yeah, they do. Uh, you get a, a free pack based off of that. And they, they did it actually two times uh, during last year's footies promo. Also, they changed weekend league rewards. I don't know how it's gonna work this year because what they changed the weekend league rewards to last year was TOTS cards. And we already have eFix TOTS 91 plus in rewards, which is actually better than the rewards we had last year for footies because it was like 89 plus tots cards. So I don't know what they're gonna do there. I don't know if they'll do anything super crazy or try anything out different, but I would imagine that weekend league rewards would not change that much. Now, that's a lot about footies. So if you have any questions, make sure to drop them down below in the comments or maybe go, I'll, I'll drop some links of like that FIFA 21 page that I was just looking at in the description of this video if you wanna go and check that out a little bit more. Now let's talk about what's going on with the market because since this promo is so exciting, so many people are already preparing for it just because they know the hype levels of content that get dropped when footies is released, all the great cards that we're gonna have, and of course with these special cards getting re-released back into packs, literally everything uh, is down on this game. Like, I'm not even kidding, like everything, right? Even some of the shapeshifter cards that are in packs right now, like Marcus Rashford went from 1.9 eight highs he's like one point i think it was 1.81 1.82 he's down at 1.65 million coins you've got guys like alan st maximin um his alan st maximin of course as we looked at had the really really insane footies card last year but his fantasy foot upgrade card this year he was like 2.4 million coins and now he is two mil flat so a lot of these cards are just are just dropping a lot team of the season cards shapeshifters um you know anything that is an a card on this game that people are still using especially on that middle to high tier a lot of prices have dropped like team of the year mbappe is down um team of the seasons team of the years basically everything across the board is taking a bit of a hidden price because like i said people know that it's the re-release of these cards back into packs which makes their prices drop so much now is this panic a little bit premature honestly i think yes and we're going to talk about that a lot more we're going to dive into the specifics um a lot more in you know, tomorrow's video but i will say this if you take a look at some prices from last year as well like this is just the time of the year where prices really like they they die like prices really drop off a lot at this stage of the year you can see like you know, last year, right right here where we are, we were at 1.9 million coins at the end of J June, early uh, July last year, which is before footy started. And by the time we're in full swing footies, this guy Messi has literally gone down from 1.8 mil down to a million coins. And then when the Messi SBC drops, he goes down even further. But, you know, prices are, are just going to continue to drop, especially, here's, here's one good example, Mane. I'm going to go back to last year's Mane card generations, foot freeze. Um, Foot Freeze Mane was included in the best of batch one. And this is a little bit of a hint of what we're going to talk about tomorrow a little bit too, is they re-released this Mane card back into packs last year and he got absolutely destroyed. Check, take a look at this. He went from 400K basically all the way to 100,000 coins like 
in a day in actually like 20 or 30 minutes it was mental the amount of price drops that you saw last year in some of these cards so that's where the panic is kind of stemming from people knowing that hey oh my goodness my shapeshifter card that i have in my team my team of the season card that i have in my club uh is probably going to drop in price over the next couple of weeks when it gets re-released in the packs that's why this stuff is going down now not all of these really insane cards like shapeshifters and the high tier toss cards are going to get re-released in packs like this week though that's why i think some of the panic selling is a little bit premature but we're still going to have a lot of great content and that could drain a lot of coins off the market as well so you know in general if it's any of these especially middle to high tier cards like ronaldo still being 10 mil is crazy to me marcelo 3.9 ramos is down but he's still 1.7 these cards are probably going to continue to drop with a couple ebbs and flows in there, but probably going to continue to drop until the game ends. So it just, you have to kind of, again, mix and match what your priorities are and, and find out what you want to prioritize is, you know, do I lose a few coins uh, in just hold on to this player or do I sell them and try to uh, salvage a few coins and not worry about it? Or like I said, again, do you just hold on to the card and use it because you're having fun and it's the end game. We are officially in the end game. It's July, especially when we're talking about footies. This is the end game of FIFA, guys, right? There's no other way around it. So that is the footies promo in a nutshell. And that's kind of how it's affecting the market already. Now, one thing I would expect to see today on Wednesday, they've been doing this recently. Watch out for the loading screen because even with shapeshifters, they dropped the loading screens on Wednesday and then updated it for Thursday. Maybe they're gonna do that sort of thing again starting today. So if you see any like pink car design or you know some sort of loading screen today, that would really confirm that footies is about to start this Friday. So keep an eye out for that. And that would probably create a little bit more panic today as well if there was a legit loading screen. Not a ton more panic, but I think you would see a little bit. And it might even give us some insight on what exactly footies could look like this year now let's take a look at today's content wednesday besides a loading screen and what else could we get as i mentioned in the be beginning of this video a 93 plus tot slash uh, shapeshifters player pick it seems like the easy way out for ea today if they were to release that i think it's very possible for them to release that i just don't know if they're going to do it or not we have the 85 times 5 it's going to be re-upped again and Honestly, I think I'm saving these, man. I have one. I haven't finished this one yet. I'll get it done before content today. I think I'm going to save these packs because, you know, there's just going to be so many special cards that are going to be in packs this Friday if a footies batch one comes out. I would rather sacrifice the opportunity of packing an elite tier shapeshifters card right now and which is probably slim to none anyway right packing rashford packing ginola even a guy like james madison it's really really hard to pack these shapeshifters so i'm going to sacrifice that opportunity now and not open my 85 times five but knowing that they're going to drop so many great sbcs during footies that i'm going to want to do as well and still having a lot of end of an eras or maybe some of the shapeshifter cards kind of still going to be available like ole is still here for nine more days or lacazette for 10 more days if i really want to get that done after shapeshifters ends i want to use all of that fodder uh, that I'm going to be able to get so much more fodder, some more higher rated players that I'm going to be able to pack because of the, the best of re-releases that will be out during footy. So that's kind of the conundrum right now that we have is do you try to pack a shapeshifters card, which would be insane, or do you just hold on to it and wait for the quote unquote better value when you might get more special cards from an upgrade pack like that, or at least have potential to get more. Nothing's ever guaranteed, right? It's packs. So that's kind of the issue with that kind of thing right now but hopefully back to the, the point today on wednesday hopefully they do release either a 93 plus tots slash shapeshifter ea just drop it again right i know people would complain and be like this is recycled content they've been doing this three weeks in a row but um you know if friday is going to be footies then today might not be as insane of a day we'll just have to see you know a lot of people have been saying nate when is fodder gonna rise i invested in it. it's not moving and it's just because the content's not there the upgrade packs are just okay you know your 83s are still 1000 coins a piece your 84s are still at 3 4k i mean even some of this fodder is dropping i think because people are starting to sell it because they're like man this content is not good how is this stuff gonna go up it still could go up today we're gonna have another 85 times five that people are gonna go out and do um, regardless today and if we do get some other sort of player pick or upgrade sbc 
I still think you could see one last bit of a spike on this fodder, but I don't really expect, you know, 86 is going back to 19K like they were last week. The content is just not as good this week. That's the bottom line. So that's the one thing that I would mention about that right now and say, if you have really high expectations for fodder, I'd be careful. And I think a lot of people are going to be worried about holding on to fodder this weekend with these summer swaps rewards. Again, I tell you guys, I'm going to remind you every day, summer swaps rewards coming out Friday. It's a huge day on Friday with footies and the rewards dropping for that. That's going to be insane. Um, so make sure if you're grounding this week, get as many of these tokens as you can keep that craft up because Friday is going to be a huge day for packs in general. And I think that scares people a little bit for SBC fodder um, and the potential for those prices to probably drop a decent amount this weekend. Even if there's good content, there's going to be a lot of supply. So that's just kind of a lot of forward thinking related to fodder and, and swaps and stuff like that. Speaking of the Shapeshifters Cup, one last thing that I want to talk about uh, before we end this video is you guys may have not known this, but a lot of people are like, Nate, where where is this one of two Shapeshifters player pick coming from? If you haven't seen it, it's available in here. It is the final reward. If you read the, um, what is this, the description, score first to progress and earn untradeable rewards. Complete this objective to earn a Shapeshifter player pick times two. And if you go all the way down to the bottom, you see you win 21 games, you get the one of four 85 plus gold player. But then if you press the square button, you get another player pick. That's this player pick that it shows right here. You get a one of two Shapeshifters player pick. And at the moment, there's a little bit of question with this because it seems like it's only giving out team three players. Now there is the, the thing that's a, a little bit problem uh, problematic about this is it just says earn a shapeshifters player pick because um, it, it doesn't say anything about team one, team two or team three, but it seems like only team three are popping from these player picks. I've seen so many people get uh, get Felipe, get Cucarella, maybe get some guys like the Rickon or like Colair or guys that are from Shapeshifters team number three. So, you know, he's making the argument here that Riggers on Twitter is making the argument that it's maybe glitched. Are they going to do compensation for this? I, I don't know if it's this is what it was meant to be and they just kind of mislabeled it because it doesn't say Shapeshifters specific to team three. But if it's supposed to be shapeshifters like related to teams one, two, and three, then that was a great voice crack, then there might be some compensation involved. So if you're not grinding this and you're like, Nate, I need a little bit something to do, you can play five games a day for Shapeshifters Cup. A lot of you guys are getting this done. I'm kind of behind the curve. Gotta try to get as many wins as I can before this goes away. Oh, nine days, plenty of time. So I just got to keep up with this and I'll get my one of two because why not, right? It takes literally like 15 minutes, 20 minutes a day to play five games of golden goal. It's really fast and it is kind of fun when you're only playing to golden goal. So that's the video for today, boys. Again, as I mentioned, a lot of movements and a lot of just stuff going on in the market because of these leaks. I mean, I was even using Marcelo to try him out and I could have sold him at 4.3 mil and now he is under 4 million coins, 3.97 and he's down because of the leaks about footies coming out. So footies is just a huge promo in general. There's a lot of hype for it. We're going to continue unpacking what it might look like in this year's FIFA um, tomorrow, especially if they give us more information on a loading screen that we might be able to decipher any more leaks, stuff like that. But it's exciting, man. Footies is always that summer promo that everybody looks forward to. The pink cards, the insane stats, the upgrades, the players that they choose. Just all the content that's involved with it, the 85 times 10, right? Everybody's excited for that. That's a part of footies. So it's all going to be going down starting this Friday is what it seems. And we're going to cover it here. As things happen, we're going to cover it all. So if you're excited for footies, again, make sure to thumbs up on this video. Comment down below if you do have any questions. And of course, subscribe if you're new. But first, hopefully eSports, drop us a good Wednesday Shapeshifters content. Let's end Shapeshifters Strong eSports. All right, guys, it's been Nate Foot Account, and I will catch you guys later. Peace out.